this last thing comes in at 12 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, vindication! <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine for the People. Thanks so much for chiming in. This week we are tasting three wines and trying to guess firstly the variety and the price breakdown. What price bracket are they in? Courtesy of course of Different Drop who have actually hand selected these wines for us. If you jump in the link in the description below, you can actually purchase these wines at a slight little discount. It, we do get a bit of a kickback to the channel, which is huge for us because we're only a small channel. We're just trying to make things and, and grow things and taste things and entertain you guys. If you do enjoy some of these things, then definitely smash the like button uh, or jump into the Discord also uh, in the description below. Uh, and that way you can have a direct chat with us at any time. But I'm talking way too much, not tasting enough wine. Let's get into it. Three reds, guess the variety. I mean, the color is dark, very dark. Deep kind of raspberry cherry, black black cherry plum vibes. Can't even see through that in the light. That is a heavy red, what I imagine all these are gonna be. So I'm thinking, yeah, like Monty looking at it. Big, big wine, big wine vibes. Okay, we, we are in the world of the traditional uh, right now. Yum, peppery, juicy, good, medium bodied red. Um, immediately giving like kind of Shiraz vibes or like maybe a Matara Mavurdra. I'm gonna put Monty in question mark and I, I think it might be the cheapest. I, there's no reference point here, but my instant gut is that that is not expensive. I see oak often as, as putting like a magnifying glass on a wine, but sometimes that magnifying glass can be sort of frosted. So in, in many instances, oak can actually draw out uh, amazing characters uh, out of wines. Um, Chardonnay is a, a great example of this and really reveal another character, another side of it. This seems a little bit clouded over. Like I can't quite see through the magnifying glass. Uh, to really see the, the variety. Uh, in terms of how many I'd like, I'll have a bottle of it for $28. I'd pay $35 for that. So that's a, I think that's my mid price little number. We'll see. Wine number two presents, on a, it's a relative spectrum, but actually presents a little bit lighter than, than wine number one, a little bit more elegant um, uh, in its brilliance and clarity. Acidity is super lifted, super lifted. Wow, that's fun. And still savory and yeah, I think it's probably, this is uh, definitely a six for me. Uh, price, it definitely feels more, expen more expensive than that one, but this is gonna defer, like, if this one's more expensive than that one, then that one must be the cheap one. But if that one's less expensive than that one, then this one is the most expensive one. I haven't figured it out yet. Cause that's quite like olivey and tapenade on the front and then doesn't, doesn't have heaps of tannins. Does this have tannin? It hasn't got much tannin and it's really bright. So what could have both tannin and not tannin and be both flat and peaky? All right, let's just put Gamay down as a question mark. High acid, man, high, high acid. This is a lot fresher, a lot more vibrant, squeaky clean. Uh, as for the variety, again, I'm, I'm a little bit vexed. Bet's at 50 and I'm gonna go from there, but uh, I think it's a really good little red wine. Great more, got a lot, lots more lively acidity than necessarily that first one. Um, and I really like the, like a brighter fruit spectrum, a little bit red fruited rather than um, rich and dark. Smells like a Grenache, looks like a Shiraz, has the acidity of a Pinot. That should really narrow it down. But for me in my head right now, it's not. Uh, I would spend around about uh, 40 bucks a bottle for this and I would buy six. Actually, if I got to buy 12, uh, because I actually think it's really delicious. That's about it. <laughs> And number three, nice little medium red. Now we're talking, okay. This smells like the most expensive straight off the bat. Really high acid, uh, again. Uh, and the sort of savoriness presents a little bit like rosemary and salt, very briny. What variety is this? Well, that's the 12 for me. I think that's the best one. I think that's the best one. Gorgeous, fuck. I just don't know the variety here. All right, here's my thinking. This is my favorite. Therefore, I think it's the cheapest. No, shit. Oh, far out, this game's hard. To be honest, my headspace is in Mataro, and I want to say that this is worth the most expensive amount. I don't think it is. Uh, I actually think the first one uh, is the most expensive. I, I would pay a lot less than this. I would pay uh, probably $32, and I'd buy one bottle. It's got, yeah, but this one feels the best. You know what, fuck it, I'm going Syrah. That's what I reckon the variety is. This one's the best one. I find the food pairings that I want personally uh, 
with, with this style of wine to be white wines. I want to have with like th those foods with a white wine as opposed to those foods with a red wine. I'd find it really difficult to justify this. Although I know people who like this style and love, uh, would spend a lot of money for it. I'm getting an inkling that this may be the most expensive wine. Cheapest is wine number one. Mid is number three. And high is number two. High one is gonna be 75 and the mid is going to be 45. That's it. My name's Rufus and that's the Trufus. Okay? Let's see what the other boys think. All right. Next little bracket. Three red wines. All the same variety. Yes. Apparently. Different price. Apparently. I believe that. How did you guys find it? It was hard. It was yeah. Really hard. I see the similarities between two and three a lot more than I see the similarities between one and either of the others. Like, to me, yeah, one is like a really big head. Like, uh, I was thinking like Montepulciano, like mm -hmm. that really big red number. And then later on, I was like, could this be a Pinot? But then I'm like, that's not fucking Pinot. Mm -hmm. Which is now making me think maybe they're all Syrahs, but... Mm, yeah. <laughs> so I landed on Gamay. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing how he did last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. These are definitely fucking gamays. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gamays. I haven't seen an oaky gamay like that before. No. Um, but yeah, I went. Uh, you said Syrah, and I went Syrah. Like, mm. you mentioned Syrah, and you went on gamay, but I think it was Syrah. Right? Yeah, it I makes sense. That was my gut instinct here. I, to be honest, it, it kind of got more confusing the deeper I went. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then at the end, I was like, oh, this is this character. There's a flavor in this wine that I really dislike. Okay. And suddenly I'm like, oh, sweet. Mataro? <laughs> <laughs> or Sinso Carignan? Or I actually think maybe, maybe, and I don't want to say it's Nero. Oh my God. Jeez. No. So yeah, I'm like, it could I'm be. Like, nice. Well done. Yay. Well done. What, well what done. called it Syrah for you? What um, was that? that one was Oki. Yeah. That one was mid. That one was Natty. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Noah then, price point wise. At natural progression up. You reckon it's just cheap, gone... mid, high. Wow. Wow. Because I would I would never pay that. I actually went the opposite and went expensive, mid, cheap. We've all got completely different ideas. <laughs> oh sick! Because I've right. got I've got cheap, expensive, mid. Alright, okay. cool. So yeah, you and I are both on the first one's the cheap one, and yeah. you and I that's the most expensive, expensive one. one. Dense, deep. Rich, oaky, Aussie yeah, style Shiraz. Yeah. We only yeah. needed three bottles. Uh, I only needed, I think, uh, I said three, but I don't think I'd have less. Yeah, I had one for $28. Yeah, I had three for 35 And I'd go for 60 bucks. Yeah. Boom. Boom. What's that movie that I didn't see? We've had one of these wines before uh, recently and actually really enjoyed it too. Their Fiano, I think. They've got a Fiano that's really nice. Oh, they've got a bunch of different things. Uh, of Alice Springs, sorry. It's Blue at Springs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no, the sand dunes outside of McLaren uh, Hill. Uh, well, no, I know a, a mate of ours is in the Alice Springs Yacht Club, so I've heard of Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wine number two, the reductive, stinky little number. Reductive yeah. and stinky. It's reductive and stinky. That was, yeah. It's, I think it's, it's charming so, and sweet. So huh? you're saying that a Syrah is reductive and sticky. That sounds like Syrah to me. I from know, just no, I know. normal Syrah. I know, I know, I know, I know. But as Mataro, it just seems so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just normal Syrah. I oh. wanted 12 of it, though. I did really love it. Yeah. Uh, 40 bucks. I was 6 at 50. I really liked it. It's, yeah, it's reminding me of proper Syrah. Mm. Where's Where's Pazzi? Pazzi 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 Syrah. Is. Put him in price ready. order. Because I reckon Noah... He's about to walk away. This last thing comes in at 12 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, vindication! <laughs> uh, Houston Hughes, amazing. Uh, from, oh, it's brilliant. Uh, from Tazzy. Amazing. Tazzy's where you should be growing more Syrah. Less Pino, please. Hundred percent, yes. Uh, because it suits the place. Uh, and this is a, this looks like proper Syrah, not Shiraz. This is, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That was pretty good. My one of the week, that was. Not mine. Nah. Okay. <laughs> please don't tell me this is the last fucking one, though. I really like this. Yeah, I really like this a lot. <laughs> this is what my are you talking about? This is delicious. It this doesn't is, smell very good, but it tastes great. This is just the, you know, this is the Herve Savoy thing. This is that like northern, northern Rhone, pretty, but it's got it's got some fucky things with it. And then it pisses off out of your mouth. Like yeah, it doesn't stick like around for too long. Bright, fresh I think it pisses in your mouth. That's what it does. That's it's how I fucking it. disgusting. Uh, it's twelve it's twelve twelve bottles me, seventy eight bucks, probably north of that really. Yeah, I had it at forty five because I thought it was the middle one, but yeah, twelve bottles for sure. Oh man, I had the price is so right, so I did the wrong fucking all. Nicely done. He called it Syrah. And it's Yabe Savoy! <laughs> and he called it, and he called it. <laughs> Noah got a run this week. Oh, we're Noah on. Noah got a run! Boy. Well oh. done! 
I, I really love this style of wine. I, I, like the, I really love this producer. Like, I always have. Um, I really, really I like, like that wine. It's delicious. Like, I think it's a good point. When that, Herve Suo can look like this. Yeah, which absolutely. I thrilled when it, it When it goes towards... Towards what, though? Like, it's just... I don't understand what is in here that you're not like. It's so simple and clean and easy. Yeah, it's I the... I just don't like the flavour, Henry. Mm-hmm. But that's what it tastes like. I accept like. that. It tastes nah, good. I think it's awesome. I love them all. Um, it's great. I, like, these two are both awesome, but... Uh, I think let's Can't go with consensus and we should we go... No, 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 do it. Do yeah, it. definitely. Do it. Yeah, do it. No base low. I'm one a masochist. But you, said, but you said one. Like, we got to go democracy. Like, I went six for the Hughes and Hughes. You went 12. Oh, yeah, we can do that if you want. Nah, this one deserves it, man. <laughs> you called Didn't it. Didn't you just think that one was mid? No, I thought the first one. Uh, no, I, I like that one. Herve Suo wins this week. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Much to my chagrin, I think it is deserving. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. Great well job done. you this week. Very uh, well back done. to back winners that was, for <laughs> that was Yeah, but that was the whole, that was all of it. Yeah. yeah. That was that was the, the varieties, the price points, and the freaking producer on the last wine. This guy. Yeah, that's pretty this good. Guy. Yeah. Until next week, it'll be my turn. Yeah, you're due. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, due, yeah. What? <laughs> what?